This data collection project made by Amelia, Jennifer, and Amanda was based on the topic virtual learning. The questions asked during the survey were as followed. What are your feelings during the school year with respect to virtual learning? And how many hours during a typical day do you spend on completing homework? The reason why we decided to ask these questions specifically is because we are students ourselves who are experiencing virtual learning too. We heard about people going through mixed feelings on the whole situation and thought it would be interesting to ask a bigger audience what their opinions were. We also realized that the homework we received during virtual learning is structured a bit different compared to when we were learning in person. This being the case, we wanted to gain a perspective on if the time students spend doing virtual learning homework is significantly low, average, or very high. There are 431 student responses about their feelings towards virtual learning. 52 strongly dislike, 79 dislike, 194 neither like nor dislike, 79 like, and 27 strongly like. Um, most students neither like nor dislike virtual learning, which would be 194 students. Um, the least amount of students like, strongly like virtual learning being 27 students. And the amount of students who like or dislike virtual learning is the same, each being 79 students. There are 430 student responses on how many hours they spent completing homework. 20 spent less than an hour. Uh, 101 spent about an hour. 145 spent about two hours. 82 spent about three hours. 38 spent about four hours. 23 spent about five hours. Um, 10 have spent about six hours. Five spent about seven hours. One spent about eight hours and five has spent nine or more hours of homework. Um, the mean amount of homework time spent on homework is 2.45 hours. The median amount is two hours. The most amount um, that students have is two hours. The range is about nine hours. The standard deviation is 1.6 hours. And the least amount of students have eight hours of homework, which is one student. And the outliers of this data range from six hours and up. Students who have six or more hours are listed as outliers in the data set. This slide presents a chart of a data from our survey and a chart of a survey we found online created by SurveyMonkey. In our survey, the majority of people, 194, voted for neither liking nor disliking virtual learning. On the other hand, people from SurveyMonkey's data showed to have voted the most for virtual learning being worse than physical school, basically saying that the majority of people disliked virtual learning. One thing that is similar from both the surveys is that more people dislike virtual learning compared to actually liking it. In fact, for the SurveyMonkey research, more than half of the people surveyed said that they disliked virtual learning. The survey on the left is the one we made asking high school students how many hours they spend on completing homework. The Brookings survey on the right has a similar question to the one we asked. The main similarity in both these surveys is that the majority of the high school students take about two hours or 120 minutes on doing their homework. The main difference is that the Brookings surveys is separating the students into their races and also income, while our survey is not separating the students into any groups. In conclusion, we would have liked to expand our study by asking if people preferred virtual learning or in-person learning. It would give us a more solid answer on whether or not virtual learning has helped people or made it more difficult to learn. We believe this study can also help show other students that we're all going through a rocky situation. And finally, we are satisfied with the results and glad to have seen people participate.